here's another typical green pool that I usually run into. If you have a sand filter like this and your pool has recently turned green, I'll show you some things that may have happened and why your pool is still cloudy. So the problem with the sand filter, it only filters up to 30 microns. So if you have fine particle debris from algae that's settled on the bottom, or this pool here has a lot of ash from a fire, it won't filter it out because of that reason, so it'll just blow it back into the pool. So it's got to be less than 30 microns to filter out. So again, if your pool was green, the algae dust that settles on the bottom will definitely go right back into, through the filter into the pool. And you may need a flocking agent to knock all the stuff out of the water if the water is cloudy. And so if you have a sand filter like this one here, the clarifier will work as a flock agent and kind of clump the organic material together to help it filter better. So this helps a lot to bring the organic debris together and through the sand filter and allow it to trap the debris. You can see a lot of this stuff was knocked down to the bottom. I'm going to put some more clarifier in to help continue to knock the ash and stuff out of the pool and get it to settle on the bottom so that it can be vacuumed out. What you're going to want to do is fill up your pool with water and then we're going to vacuum it out on waste mode. This particular filter has a drain right here so I don't need this hose but if you don't have a drain by your cleaner you can clamp a hose on to the back wash and you can use this hose and put it out to an area where it can drain out properly. Okay, so you're going to want to take your multi-port handle, you want to turn it to waste, right there, waste, and we're going to go ahead and turn on the system, and we're going to go ahead and vacuum the pool in that mode. And that's why I'm filling up the pool, because you're going to lose quite a bit of water when you do this. And you go ahead and just vacuum the pool like you would normally do, but keep that in waste mode. Turn that off and I'll put it back in regular mode now that I've finished. I went ahead and moved that back to filter mode. And the waste mode just bypasses the filter entirely and it shoots the um, dirt out into your waistline or your drain. And that wasn't too bad. I lost maybe a quarter inch of water by vacuuming the whole pool out. You can still see a lot of fine particles from the ash all over the top of the pool, so you may need a second treatment in waste mode. If your pool's newer, it'll be clearly marked. It'll have a backwash on it. So we have it in filter mode now. You want to make sure everything is off. Press it down. Turn the handle back to backwash. I'm going to turn the pool on. Backwash it. To get all the dirt out. Okay, then we want to turn it off and you want to put it in rinse for at least 30 seconds. Turn it back on, that way it rinses everything out of the line, otherwise some dirt may go back in. We'll let it run in rinse mode for about 30 seconds to get all that extra dirt out. That way it doesn't roll back into the pool. Now I'm going to put it in filter mode. And everything seems to be back to normal here. The filter pressure is about 10. I dry back washed it. And you can see this pool has bounced back quite a bit from the ash from the fire and with that process of vacuuming in waste mode two weeks in a row and using the Sea Clear clarifier as a flock agent to kind of help it clump up all the organic uh, debris in the pool.